Details here at 5:30. Delaware State University is asking the federal government to get involved following that controversial traffic stop and search of a chartered bus transporting the school's women's lacrosse team in Georgia. Today, the school's president announced the university plans to file a formal complaint to the Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division. Action News uh, Becca Hendrickson now with more. That's all we're doing right now is checking out your bags, make sure there ain't nothing in there ain't supposed to be, okay? Body cam footage shows sheriff's deputies in Liberty County, Georgia, board a bus carrying the Delaware State University women's lacrosse team. How do we go from being in the wrong lane to going through our bags? The sheriff's office says it pulled over the bus for riding in the left lane. That minor traffic infraction turned into a drug search. The deputies found nothing illegal in the bags. Instantly for me, it was like, this is just because we're black. Like. Any other team that didn't look like us or didn't have as many black people on the team, they wouldn't have asked that and just wouldn't want to go. This was April 20th. The video shows deputies searching through the player's personal property, toiletries, clothes, and even a family graduation gift. We're all just having to stay composed because we don't want it to escalate into anything worse than what it already was. Weeks after the incident, the university is taking legal action. Today, I am announcing the university's intention to file a formal complaint with the Civil Rights Division of the United States Department of Justice. Earlier this week, Delaware's Attorney General also sent this letter to the Department of Justice saying she is, quote, deeply troubled by what occurred and that she's counting on, quote, a thorough vetting and appropriate action. We believe both the stop and the search are a violation of rights, the rights of every passenger on that bus and those of the driver. I would appreciate an apology from the county, from the Liberty County Sheriff's Office just because no one should have to go through something like that. Action News reached out to the Liberty County Sheriff's Office for a response, and we have not heard back. Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News.